Whew. Um, <clears throat> substances and art. That is something that I have come to only lately, I would say the past couple of years, um, because substances in general, I guess I shouldn't say substances, it's just alcohol. I don't mean just, as in like, it's only alcohol, mm, that still doesn't work. What I mean is that that is the only substance I'm talking about, not that it's um, milder or less serious or whatever as other substances. Uh, I'm just saying alcohol is the only one that I that I'm talking about because it's the only substance uh, or drug, if you just want to call it that, other than caffeine that uh, I take, that I use. <clears throat> um, and I had a long time without drinking any alcohol whatsoever, and it's only been like the past four years maybe that I've been slowly introducing that back into my life, and. Uh, that, that's gone pretty good, because it was like 11 years that I didn't drink whatsoever. Um, and I just had a moment yesterday where I realized, uh, I was at the studio, I was in the studio over there, and I was painting, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm having a party, I was listening to good music, I was, um, actually I was drawing at the time, not painting, and I was just like, you know what, let's, let's get rowdy, and then I had a shot, and that felt good, and, uh, then things got rowdy, and then I moved to painting because I was too distracted to draw because I was just like partying too hard with my music and my energy was high. And then I was doing some stuff, and I was just, yeah. And I was thinking about the last time, which was a few weeks before, yet yeah, like a few weeks ago, that I had a drink while I was painting, and there's just a lot of energy and whatever else, and I was able to use that in a way to. The first, I, I guess this is going to relate to a whole other conversation I'm going to have maybe next week about creating chaos to solve problems, because that seems to be the, the John way to do things sometimes. But um, the thing is that that alcohol just definitely gave me the ability to not be self-conscious and just gave me, just to be more chaotic. Um, I don't need alcohol to do that when I'm problem solving with painting. Like sometimes I reach a point where I know I need to do something drastic. I need to create, in some ways, like if I have a problem that I can't seem to solve in a painting, if I can't resolve it, um, the balance is off or something, just an optical visual math problem basically, that sometimes I need to just like, hey, I don't start again. That's not what I do. I don't like gesso it and start fresh. I just like create a larger problem that makes it easier to solve. Um, so I just dump a bunch of paint on there or, or splatter something, or I don't know. Just There's a way that I create, a, sometimes I burn it or throw it or whatever. Like, so I create a bigger problem, uh, and I don't need alcohol to do that. I don't need a substance um, or a heightened state, artificially heightened state, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, to do that. Sometimes it's a very measured process to, like, light something on fire or just like whatever it doesn't have to be even that energetic of a thing it's just that with alcohol i realized like i st the other day i was trying to solve problems like i was trying to not not emotional problems uh i was trying to solve a painting problem like a couple weeks ago and then i had alcohol and i had a lot of energy and just like um i i felt like i solved a lot of the problems that i was having i just like in a way, it, it suits that process well for me because instead of looking at every little thing, yes, there are some things I want to preserve in the painting if I'm trying to solve a, a specific problem. This allowed me to ignore a lot of things and just, like, not care as much. That's the thing. I found for me, and, and well, I believe it to be true for other people as well, it's not that you have an unawareness of what you're doing while you may be under the influence of alcohol. It's that you just don't care as much. I'm very aware of what I'm doing. Sometimes I definitely do things by accident because my movements, uh, my motor skills aren't the same and my energy might be more, like I, I, I'm not, I don't care enough to be careful, right? And that can lead to a lot of fun. Uh, it can at least lead to also just to breakthroughs in painting um, or, or just solving problems in painting because I'm seeing it through a different lens. I, I have altered my perception and you can do that in a number of ways, but if alcohol is one way to do that, then, like, 
uh, I can, I'm, I'm starting to see why some people um, do that with art, whether it be psychedelics or alcohol or whatever. And just you're not second guessing yourself as much. It, it quiets those voices. And for me, when I start a painting, I usually don't. That's not a concern of mine. It's usually I'm trying to solve a painting that I can like. When I'm coming to close to completion of a painting, an abstract painting to be specific that I can start to just... I don't want to get to that good enough, right? Like, I've talked about that in the vlog a lot the past year or two, that I have been working really hard to, to work past that and just do my best on a piece and, and not settle for good enough. But when you have, like... Let's say there's a hundred elements on this painting and you love 95 of them or 98 of them, and you don't want to sacrifice those, there isn't sim it, it's not simple to try to like get rid of those two elements or to do something with those two elements you don't like and keep the other 98. It doesn't work that way. Like in, you, you'd have to paint over something or, or go over something in a certain way that's gonna, it's gonna ev everything you do influences the balance of the whole piece. So it's just like every paint stroke will influence the next one, but if you don't want to have many more paint strokes because you like all these other elements, but they're a little imbalanced because there's these two things that are just taking away, or they're too much, or they're not enough, or whatever. Trying to solve that gets really difficult sometimes. So that's why there's times where I'm like, hey, I can't preserve the 98. Let me just throw a huge splotch of black on this, and I have, I have ruined about 20 of the other things I liked. But, but that helps me... It just puts it, it changes the direction of the whole piece, but then it allows me to maybe complete it to get it to a hundred percent elements that I like. They're not the same elements that were there before. But anyway, I'm getting way too into the art of this. Uh, I also have been reading Stephen King's memoir on writing, and he talks about his alcoholism and drug abuse and and, I mean, I've known about other, other writers and stuff that abuse alcohol and, and those kind of things, and that's been interesting to me as well, as to, like, why is that something that, that writers may gravitate towards, or, or just artists in general, right? Like, I think there's certain tropes of, like, writers being on cocaine and, and drinking, and then, like, certain artists being on psychedelics and stuff, right? Or, I mean, like, Pollock was an alcoholic as well, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe it's just part of that thing of being able to... I don't know, art is the drug, right? Like, like for me, a lot of the time, art is the drug that helps to, to give me peace and quiet and calm, and I don't really need alcohol to do that. However, I do have a problem with excess, and that I can be enjoying a thing, and why not enjoy it more and add more to it? Instead of just enjoying it on this level, I've got to take it up a notch and another notch and another notch. So, um, I think that alcohol can complement art for me sometimes, but it's not it's not something that I need to rely on to create good art even. I don't think that the quality of my art necessarily changes. I think it's a fun addition at times. However, I am curious to explore art creating with more substance use just to see what would happen, but I don't know if anything would really happen that 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 is... Like, it would be different in the moment, but I don't know if that would really, I don't know how to explain that. Like, yes, the, the piece would be different. Like, I started a piece um, with alcohol. Like, I, like I, I was already influenced by alcohol before I started this piece. Um, and I have a lot of problems to solve with that piece. The chaos came first with that piece, and now the problem solving is going to come after, and that's an interesting flip. Um, because the energy that I got from how happy and whatever <laughs> that I was in that moment helped create that piece. It was like this mad energy, this wild thing, and I did something that I don't think I would have done without that energy. Now, alcohol fueled that energy. I don't know how much of that... I don't know if I would have had that exact same energy. I don't think I would have. But it was a combination of other elements that were there giving me um, energy before the alcohol, and the alcohol was just pouring gas on the fire. So I think that maybe pushed me to be like, nope, I can't sit still, I gotta do something, and I was like, let's just pour paint all over this thing, I don't care, let's see what happens. 
And that kind of experimenting, right? Whereas I might not have done that. And there's obviously a line with, with your substances, right? And this could turn into a whole other conversation. But I want to proceed with caution. And I think I've been doing that with alcohol in general, is proceeding with caution uh, the past couple of years. Because the whole reason that I didn't drink for 11 years was because when I started drinking, it very quickly and rapidly uh, went downhill. And I abused that substance. And didn't know how to moderate myself, or didn't want to, or didn't care to. It just, it wasn't, I, I wasn't drinking in moderation whatsoever. I drank to get drunk. That was it. And since then, I have not been drunk. I have drank and felt the effects of alcohol, but I haven't been drunk. So it's been, oh, I don't even know how long now. I don't want to count the years, but let's say approximately 15 years, yeah, since I've been drunk. But it's been like four years since I've started to drink again slowly, um, experimenting with that. And now this, there's been a couple of times where I've had that influence of alcohol on my art. And some of that was like three years ago or so that that happened, but I wasn't alone. I was making collaborative pieces. And then there was a different energy there too, because you've got someone else in the room and you're having a good time and you're socializing. And then you've got alcohol fueling some of that, grease in the wheels. And I just think it'd be a fun thing to experiment with. But I want to proceed with caution, too. And I just wanted to discuss and just explore that thing. Because some people are afraid, like... And it was this thing with Basquiat, right? Like, he was a heroin addict, and I don't know what else he was doing. But um, that he felt his art suffered when he was sober. But people wanted him to be sober, but then they said he started making crappy art when he was sober. And it's like, what do I do? Like this is, And it becomes this identity thing. And because I started creating art without any substances. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think that I have a certain style, even though I, I, I definitely experiment enough on my own that, that there's not just one style, um, and that I, I learn and I evolve over time. But I, I was just thinking, like, what if, what if I started drinking um, while I painted regularly, what if I specifically did that and then I created a certain style for myself and it started to be good? And what if I felt like relying on, and I don't want to think too much in the future and get stuck in a thought trap, <laughs> um, but it's just an interesting thing of just like, like it, it does change things. And maybe you can't create the same way that you could sober. Like it changes things. It, it gives you an ability to ignore certain things or not see certain things. And obviously... In some cases, that could be a, a pretty horrible, it's a detriment to you and your safety or your relationships or whatever, right? But in the case of, like, I'm in a safe space and I'm controlling my intake and whatever, that perhaps having that lack of um, awareness or motor skill or, or care in your thought processes with not thinking of the consequences can really lend itself to creating art, a different kind of art than you would normally create. And that, that's, that's a possibility. And I think I'm going to explore that possibility from time to time with caution.